l-ġdid dan il-servizz jgħat joħodna f-Toronto għanzi biex inkunu għezzat fl-Anstown fil-Distret ta' Dandas. Il-lum siri nil-toma Valerie Bohajar maltija kanadiza li emigrat ma' l-familja taħħa ta' għata zejra. Valerie i artista, attriċi u għanki producer tal-films. F-dan il-servizz għasir maħħa insiru na fu għahjar u nifmu kif fil-karrira prezenti l-identita maltija għada mek. Il-Malti għada tifmu, izza bħan ħafna talata taħħa, il-siba xifti d-diffiċ li li titkelmu. Aħna sirna konxi mil-konnessjoni Maltija min ħabba kunjoma. Buħaġar. Veliri għaltinnajk. Jina t-rejt il-kallam inglizi għax il-Maltija mux sawa. So, yeah, so I was born in Malta and Musta and we immigrated to Canada like most of the Canadians to Toronto in the 60s when I was a baby um, in the junction. So the connection to Malta is still quite deep and, you know, deeply rooted. And we were the only ones who came to Canada for my family and then, and one aunt. And uh, so everyone was still there. Uh, mainly Musta, and so the connection was constant, and they came to us, or we went there. And then, funny enough, I'm the one who stayed connected the most. So I kept going as an adult on my own, a teenager, and then on my own. I just kept going and uh, stayed somehow connected. Um, along with that, I studied theatre, acting, and then that propelled me forward to make films. And in my work as a filmmaker, I tend to have Maltese, my Maltese connections in there. My first film was The Passion of Rita Camilleri, which actually went to Malta and screened and won uh, best short film there. And, um, and now I'm making a feature film there. And I hope to make a feature film in Malta the end of this year or next year. Feleri ta' metti li il-kommunita Maltija fin-ħawi ta' Toronto iħim daqsa. Izda meta għabluwa ma' uħrajn il-li s-setilija uħdin il-parti tal-Kanada id-daqs jikompli iċkien. Ma tano kollu kien ta' sudisfazzjon għalina nisimu il-li il-Maltijn tal-Kanada umma għattivi u għaddirittura b-saħjitom. Fal-irrit is-għar li il-kommunita Maltija fil-Kanada ta' prezza l-prezenza ta' Malta u ta' l-Maltin fil-dinja ta' Cinema. It's, you know, it's really great because I know there's a huge community here, but at the same time, there aren't many Maltese, right? You don't, when you hear someone's Maltese, you want to, like, grab them, find out where they're from, who they know, and when did they come to Canada, etc., etc. And I find that happens constant. Or I'll tell someone I'm Maltese and they go, wow, you're the only Maltese person I know, or I know one other person. But what really uh, made me think, wow, what a strong community we have, was there's a film festival in Toronto called the European Union Festival. Where they showed a feature film called Shimshar, a uh, beautiful, beautiful film. And the audience was full of Maltese and, and other Europeans as well, but mainly Maltese. And it was so moving. And it was all in Maltese dialogue to hear the audience respond to that. And then, and afterwards, we honestly felt so proud of this film made by a Maltese in Maltese on our island. That was like, yes. And that helped me feel inspired to, you know, I can make something there too, you know, and, and how we need that. Illum Valerie Bohajar i fukata fu l-produzzjoni tal-films. I konxja mil-fat li Malta toffri postijiet fantastici għal-ġbiet ta' films. Lil-pajiz nazaritu għaktar min darba u s-qarret maħna li tixti li il-film li għaliħet ħeji bħalissa trittaħt mu Malta. Għal-Veleri li diġa kidbet l-skript din tkun ħolma. F'da l-stadju kollo xikun sigrit. Imma Veleri kienet l-esta li tikxi ftit min plot tal-film maħna. Well, the thing is, yes, there are so many films that are set in Malta, but there are American films and they don't show 
the Maltese people. Uh, and of course they wouldn't use the language and all that. My film will be in Maltese with English uh, interwoven as it is in Malta. Uh, and it's called Carmen Has Been Touched. And Carmen has, the story is what, this woman named Carmen, when she was 16 years old, she went off with her brother, who's a priest, to take care of him. And that was her life, to take care of her brother, the priest. And then when she's in her 50s, he dies and she has nothing. No education, no money, but she also doesn't have family, which is very unusual for Malta. Uh, and so she has nowhere to go. She sneaks into the church and lives in the church. She uses the pews to sleep on and the confessional booth to change. And uh, she takes the collection money and eats from that money. Uh, anyway, she gets stuck in the confessional booth and then people start giving her c confessions and she gives advice and she slowly changes the village. And that's, that's the basic idea. The various locations, I'm assuming we'll be shooting in Gozo because uh, it's not as busy and it has, still has a sort of older feel to it, I think. Um, uh, but we're not set on that. And we need to find a production crew in Malta to team up with and a casting. I'd like to get as many Maltese actors as possible. Uh, and I saw from the film Shimshar that there are lots of great actors there. So just gathering the community and uh, start working and then rewriting the script so it fits with the locations. Because I remember it from, you know, I was there three years ago, so I written it with the locations in mind, but then things change, right? So, yeah. Kif altinna veleri ad ba'an hafna xol u preparamenti xisiru abel din il projet xol mata xajit wetta. Fil waqt illi nauguraw la kul suċċess nittema u illi fil futur mux fil bot, jinkun nistu naraw u napretzaw dan il-kontribut fil settur ta' cinematografija min Malti għalitaj xfil Kanada.